if you're looking for a racing game for that shiny new PS5 that's actually going to take advantage of its raw power, you have to play Dirt 5. This exciting yet arcade-like racer has incredible graphics and it has amazing performance. It's a really good game as well, at least I think so. If you look at the reviews online, there are a lot of bad ones. I would read them yourself and make your own decision whether or not this is a game for you. But for me, I like arcade-style racers like this, and I think it's all done very, very well. It's definitely a great-looking game. The levels vary and span the world. You encounter all different types of terrain like gravel, ice, snow, and sand, and the effects from the ice and snow hitting your windshield is just awesome. With a roster of cars ranging from rally icons to trucks to GT heroes, it has a decent career, online multiplayer, and even four-player split screen, which is something a lot of games these days are lacking. Yes, we do want to play online, but some of us still want to play local multiplayer on the same screen as well. The vehicles are all done well, with some major brands showing up and some cool-looking concept vehicles, too. There are many in the game that you will need to unlock to play, or you can purchase on the PlayStation Store, which is where we run into a lot of people's complaints with the game. It tries to microtransaction everything. Now, I can ignore it, but a lot of people can't. And I can understand. Everything in the game from parts of the main career to vehicles to the paint jobs are all under a purchase scheme of some sort. A lot of those really cool cars I was talking about earlier are only accessible through spending real money or in-game items, and I've always had a problem with that. Uh, I mean, really, don't sell me half a game and then charge me more for the rest of it. To be fair, we have a lot of content with a singular story campaign, and you have access to a lot of vehicles, especially when you open up more as you play. But there is this ever-nagging pop-up somewhere promising you how much better the game would be if you just spent a little more. Don't fall for it. Buy the game or spend a little more to get the special edition that comes with a bit more content, and just enjoy what you get, and forget about the rest. There is a great racing game here, and it's filled with amazing locations and super fun vehicles with some wild weather effects too. And best of all, it really shows off how beautiful games on the PS5 can look. If you like a good arcade racing game, check out Dirt 5 on the PS5. If you are more of a racing simulator person, I would probably look elsewhere. Dirt 5 is available right now for about 60 bucks. And finally, another game I waited to play until I got the PS5, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Always beautiful games, this Assassin's Creed is the first one to take advantage of the PS5 and its ray tracing capabilities. You play as Eivor, a mighty Viking raider who you can customize and make either a man or a woman. You lead your clan from Norway to a new home in the farmlands of 9th century England and it is beautiful. You get to explore an amazing open world where you'll face brutal enemies, raid fortresses, build your clan's new settlement, and forge alliances to win glory and earn a place in Valhalla. You get to lead your people in massive assaults against armies and fortresses and expand your influence far beyond your settlement's borders. Something that turns me off a bit is the advanced RPG mechanics. I, I really am not an RPG guy anymore. In fact, Final Fantasy VII, when I was younger, ruined me on those mechanics. They do give you new ways to grow as a warrior and a leader, but they take a lot of time and it just feels like a grind to me when I play. The RPG elements that were put into the game just kind of ruined it for me. It's produced well, the game itself is beautiful, but I just can't get past the gameplay. If you are an RPG fan and are intrigued by the Viking timeline, well, I think you will enjoy this game. 
if you're like me and like more of a flowing story and less of the grindy missions, well, you may want to avoid Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thanks for watching your weekly tech update. If you have a story you think we need to feature on the program, uh, get in touch with me. Send me an email at djraymcneil at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at your weekly tech update and check out the podcast, audio and video versions available on iTunes, Google, Spotify, Audio Burst, and elsewhere on the interwebs. Till next time, I'm Ray McNeil. Stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. And now, here's your moment of joy. Tech Update brought to you by Holiday Home Care, Phillip Island, Victoria, Australia. It's your turn to relax. Before you get on holiday on the island, contact Holiday Home Care. We can set up your residence or holiday rental, do the shopping for you, provide linen and towels, and make sure it's all ready by the time you get here, giving you more time to enjoy what Phillip Island has to offer. For more information, visit HolidayHomeCarePI.com or email HolidayHomeCarePI at gmail.com.